Welcome to Planting 101. G and I are about to get ready to plant some seeds. Now the seeds are in my pocket here. I'm protecting them. But first we need to dig some dirt. It's a little windy out here. So I want to show you some of the things that I brought. Here is my little planting cup. It's an old flower planter. And we're going to fill this with some dirt. Okay. Now the dirt we're going to use is the soil from the earth. And there's G and she's using her trowel. G, can you show everyone the trowel you're using? Let me see. There's Gia's trowel. Very cool. Now, G, show everyone as you dig a little bit of dirt in our backyard here. It's a little tough, right, G? Yeah. Lots of roots in that grass. So, you know what? Let's do a little bit at a time. There were a lot of pumpkin vines in here. Oh, yeah. We used to have pumpkins in this backyard. So, look, G's going to fill the cup with some soil. All right. There you go, G. Good. She's doing a great job, isn't she? So she's going to fill that with some soil, okay? When we come back, we're going to take our soil, we're going to make sure it's nice and fine, and we're going to make sure it's all grainy and, and crum crummy. You don't want it to be too hard. And then we're going to put our seeds inside, bury it a little more, and then we're going to probably put some water on it. Sun's starting to come out now, so this way our seed can get some good sun, get some good shade. On a day like this, it's perfect to grow your seeds because... Uh, the sun's out, but also some cloud cover is going on out there too, so it can get some good shade as well. I'm going to help her out. I have my own trowel too, so we're going to fill this up with more dirt. Let's see where she's at. How's she looking there? Need a little more, right, G? All right, you keep working. All right, let me go help her, and we'll meet you back here in a second, okay? Hey, guys. Okay, so Gia found a better spot for some dirt over here. We found some good soil, right, G? On our grill right by the tree. That's a bunch. Yep, don't pack it in too much. You want it to be kind of soft and light, okay? So G's gonna bring it to the table now. All right, we're gonna come to the table. You ready, G? Okay. All right, here she comes. All right, so G's at the table. The soil is in. All right, she's got her trowel too. The trowel's like that little shovel we were talking about. All right, and let's go ahead. I'm going to have to put the seeds in now. Can I put one? Okay. So, absolutely. I see you put a little stick in there. Marking your territory. Pretty cool. Okay, so in my pocket, I have some seeds. I want to show you guys the seeds. I'm going to move this trowel out of the way. Move the gloves. Can you show everyone a seed? Pick one. Now, can you tell everyone what kind of seeds we have? This is an apple seed. Show right here. Yep, see it? little Apple. small oval shaped it's got a little point to it too so here it is here's another one. Oh, it fell hold on Can I put it there it is there's the apple seed right there it's very tiny and we're going to put them in we're just going to put them in space them out make sure they don't touch because the apple seeds won't sprout if they are too close to each other all right now so we we're got to get a little, little bit. more dirt so here's another one they actually could go in and she's gonna get a one more scoop of soil to kind of coat the top just a little bit you want to put a little more soil just to cover them a little bit so that they're protected okay, here we go. oh that's a lot let's do a little bit of half of that okay come on over ready i'm gonna help you ready scoop a little bit in there you go that's good i'll push it around good job sweetie that looks great so our seeds are now in this pot right here okay so the flower pot is ready to go. We tilt it so you guys can see. I filled it with dirt. Gia did a great job. And then the seeds are buried just under the surface. Don't push too much, just a little tap. Good, looks great. All right, let's show everybody. There you go. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a watering can and we're gonna put a little bit of water in so that they uh, are ready to soak grow you don't want to put too much water because you don't want them to to drown okay you don't want them to get too too wet and then they won't grow especially apple seeds because they need a really uh good uh ground to grow in we're going to control it now tomorrow i'm going to be putting in some uh other seeds too okay the only seeds that i had in my house because we haven't really gotten to go anywhere is apple seeds so we did apples and hopefully they grow we're going to Give them sunlight, shade, and water every day. Kind of rotate that and put them, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll keep them outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna keep them by our door or you could put it by your window. Okay, so that's what it looks like, very simple. Now you guys could use all types of seeds. What kind of seeds could they use? You could use orange seeds. You could try orange seeds. 
You could use flower seeds. Yeah, flower seeds if you have flower you seeds. You could use... How about beans? Lime seeds? Well, yeah, limes. Yeah, limes, lemons. Yes. I, I'm not sure how well they'll grow here because they need really warm weather, but apples tend to grow in this type of weather, okay? So apples, I think, would be really good. Uh, how about, uh, like I said, beans. If you have dried beans, that would work too. So check your house. Do some planting. Have some fun, all right? Uh, I actually have uh, some uh, more seeds coming. I placed an order for some, so hopefully they come in and I can add them to my pots, all right? But right now we just have our apples, so. Pretty cool though. Let's see if they grow. We'll keep doing our little experiments here, all right? What? All right, let me go ahead and get the watering can. We'll put some right, water in, okay? back. And here we are. There's my watering can, just like we talked about earlier in the week. Uh -huh. This is a big old fashioned watering yeah. can I found in my shed. Pretty cool, right? So we're just gonna take this, put a little bit of water in, not too much, because my ground is actually pretty dry. There we go, pouring the water in. And that looks good, okay? So we're gonna let that soak a little bit. All right, that should be good for now. And I think we're good to go. All right, so let's take a look. Put a little water inside. You see how the soil is a little wet. Notice that there's a lot of good nutrients in that soil. We have some roots, we have some leaves, um, a lot of other things. The soil's been here for a long time, so it's it's got a lot of good stuff in it. Make sure you use good dirt and good soil too, and it'll always help your seeds grow a little bit better. And I think we are good to go. All right, so we'll check up on my seeds maybe next week, and see how they're doing, see if we see any sprouts. Hopefully we do, and it'll be awesome. I can't wait. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll see you later. Have fun planting yourself.